Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and today we are going to be decorating for Christmas. <laughs> decorating for Christmas is probably my favorite season to actually decorate for. Don't get me wrong, I love decorating for fall. Decorating for fall is so much fun, all the orange tones and everything. But decorating for Christmas just has such a different vibe to it. Everything is like sparkly and fresh and just it's so pretty and decorating the tree is so much fun. So that is what we're going to be doing today. As you can see behind me, um, it's still very fall and it's also, there, there's a lot of mess going on over here. So we need to kind of fix all that up first. Um, I'll give you guys a little overview of everything that's happening. Basically what we need to do, take down the fall decorations, clean, and then we need to put up the Christmas ones. The ear wall fell down. We're gonna find something new to do with that because if you watch any of my decorating videos, you know the ear wall, every single time it falls down. Um, so they got my photos like normal, all the fall things, my fall bedding, of course, more fall stuff, and then just messy, messy mess. Um, and then yeah, so that's pretty much my room. And out here it's also pretty messy, not gonna lie. A lot of this is the Christmas decorations I pulled out. And then obviously we got some fall Halloween stuff happening here too. So as you can see, there's a lot going on, but we're gonna get right on into it. I do kind of want to tidy my room up first, get rid of this mess stuff, and then we'll start taking down all the fall stuff over here and pack that all away. too bad it's still a little untidy but you know what that's okay we're gonna work on the Halloween ball. I can see them now it's like they spell your name it's insane now we're back here once again holidays and cheer but now I got my everything that is fall and all the fall themed stuff off the wall. Um, obviously we're going to be putting a little bit of it back up and rearranging all that but we are redoing the wall. But I did want to show you before we started actually doing the Christmas decorating some of the new things I got this year for Christmas. So I did go to the dollar store and Walmart a couple days ago um, and just got a couple new things. I have lost some of my Christmas decorations from last year. We're not sure where they went. Um, like the tinsel and that has all decided to get up and walk away. So we're not exactly sure where that went. So I did just get new stuff. So first off, I just got two placemats. Um, these are actually going to go out in like the family room area over there um and these are just for one's gonna go under cody's food dish and then one's gonna go like under the coffee maker and stuff that i have out there uh, a runner this is just gonna go under the tv out there as well a star um i was using my disney ears for the longest time on top of the tree because we didn't have a star so i like the disney ears but the star is just a little bit nicer i feel like so um we got the star <sighs> I saw these and I, I couldn't resist like they're so cute so um, we're gonna be decorating now in my little antlers I thought they were just really adorable so got antlers garland so I got this one here and this one has little snowflakes on it and it's white another one of the exact same thing these are what is going to go up at my lights there and then the same thing but this one is just in red I like going red and white with all my Christmas stuff and then this here as well is probably gonna go out either at the TV or at the little coffee stand I'm not sure which yet little noel sign also from the dollar store this was only two bucks and i thought it was just really kind of fun and christmasy posters from walmart these were two dollars and 47 cents and they have these cute little christmas gnomes on them so two of them are gnomes holding a christmas tree and the other two are gnomes tangled in the christmas lights i thought these were really cute and i use coasters all the time for like my iced coffee and stuff like that so just gonna have little themed ones because all the other ones I have are like very summery floral. And then finally, I got not one but two squishmallows. So I had never seen these in a store before ever and I happened to come across like a brand new bin that had just come out when I was at Walmart and I couldn't decide between these two so I just ended up getting both. Um, this is Ruby the Moose one and um, I love 
her scarf and her nose and she's just the cutest and then this is Manny the snowman I decided to get these two versus like the Santa one and stuff because these are more wintry so they can stay out past Christmas whereas all the other ones were like very Christmas so these ones can stay out a lot longer probably till like March or something they have a long life and um, these guys too I thought they'd be great to bring to my new house apartment whatever that's going to be in January um, I will have to move out for school for four months it's not a big deal I'm literally going for four months and coming back in January um, and I'm gonna need a couple things to decorate with I don't know where I'm living yet we're gonna have to figure that out still but um, I do have to go. These guys are going to come with me um, and they're great for now for Christmas decorating too. So that's all the kind of new stuff I got. Um, other than that we're just going to be use, reusing old stuff from last year so I have like my Disney wreath, um, Bath and Body Works candles, all that fun stuff that's going to be going up and I think we're going to set up the tree too. I do want to try to set up the tree on my nightstand here and see if that will work for this year. <laughs> It'll look better when it's all together. Trust the process. Next up are my book stacks. So these are what goes on the floating shelves here. Um, obviously I need books to go on those so I've collected any books that I have with red or white spines. So there's a ton of those here and I also have this one because it feels kind of like Christmassy. Um, and then I have Christmas movies, so I just have a couple Christmas collection sets here, and then CDs, um, they're all Taylor Swift, so anything with, once again, that kind of white side to it, so Reputation 1989, um, a couple of the different folklore versions have a white on it, Evermore feels very Christmassy in general, and then of course we have the holiday collection, I also have my signed Fearless, which needs to go up. I just don't know where to put it yet. I don't have a frame for it, so I think we're just gonna end up displaying it kind of just like sitting upright like we did with folklore for a while before I got all my frames and that for those. So that is what we have to stack and put together right now. When I'm creating these, I always try, so there's three different stacks. So I need three big books for the bottom to be the most like stable. And we got three, and then I can stack them from there. I did just briefly break for lunch, but we're back and we're ready to go. So my camera battery did also die, so now we're good to go on all that account. Um, but I put up the tree, kind of. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit. But it does actually fit in there not too bad. And then I've laid out everything else. So this is all the stuff that could possibly go up on the shelves here. So I just have my Mickey wreath. This is the tree box. Honestly, I don't know where we got the tree. Probably just like Walmart or something. I have no idea. We've had it for a long time. Maybe Sears. Um, then I just have a couple wishables, my candles. So these are my three Christmas ones. And the one up there, which is just holding the lights in place. Um, my Polaroid, my Taylor Swift album. I do have red TV on order. So once that actually gets here, I'll replace it with that. And these, these here are my Disney ornaments to decorate the tree with. So like... We have little Mickey here, um, we have our yearly ones, I do, I did get the 2021 one actually, I didn't show you guys that, um, but I did get the 2021, uh, just Disney ornament that looks like this, that I will show you, it's just upstairs, I'll go get it. Okay, here's my issue, so the lights need to be held up there, um, before I just had heavy stuff sitting on them, but that's not really going to work anymore, because I did kind of redo how they're up, um, if I take this candle off, it's going to fall, so I'm just going to try and use a push pin. Stick the lights to the wall and hopefully they stay. These are all my Disney ornaments. Um, we do have a lot more that go on our family tree, but these are just my little ones. So I have a lot of Rapunzel. Some of them are like Disney Disney. Some of them are just like... Uh, Walmart or whatever a little Fort Wilderness one um, Winnie the Pooh I got this one last year I believe Lady and the Tramp and then this one here is 
another one of my favorites it's like a little chippendale like snow globe kind of deal it's really cute this is the new 2021 one these are all from walmart so every year i get 2018 19 20 21 um i get a new ornament and i say it's every year i go to disney but i mean i go to disney i've been every year so i mean basically i just get a new one every year the chippendale one here is so cute he is good and go right up here i think he looks really cute up there and the rest of these are going to go on the tree so we need to kind of separate out the branches of it and then put them on Definitely not a lot of ornaments, but I think it's really cute and simple. I do still have my fingers crossed that I'm going to find the other garland, because if I find the garland that we used last year, then I can put that on the tree, which will make it look that much better. I think this star will actually be a fairly good size. I'm not sure, but we've just never been able to find a good size star for this tree, which is why I've always just used like my Mickey ears or whatever, um, which is fine. I just don't really... It felt a little too heavy. I mean, it's already a Disney tree, so I mean, that works and it doesn't work, you know? So, here's the star. There we go, that does fit. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love that. I actually just forgot about the most important part of this entire wall, which is the photo collage. I honestly don't know how I forgot, but I have a bunch of photos printed off. Um, most of them are the same ones as last year. They have a cute little Christmassy filter on them, and they're just from my camera roll or Pinterest or wherever. Look, here's Charlie sitting with Santa Claus. Um, so just a fun little Christmas photos that are just going to go up on the wall with green tape, and hopefully they stick better than the fall ones. Oh, this time, you're on top of my list. running out of ideas to make this stay like I've taped it with every type of tape possible it doesn't stick I don't know what to do with it anymore I'm getting really frustrated <laughs> to be honest um yeah it's it's really annoying it just keeps falling down I'll be making plans, make you understand. I'm not gone. and here it is the finished room I definitely don't like it as much as last year, I will say. But it is still really cute, and it, it just feels like Christmas now. Like, it just it feels so good and cozy. So I'll show you around a little bit. I still have not done anything with this wall. I don't know what's happening. Um, the command hooks need to come down because they never stay, and all the ears always fall. So we just need a whole new concept for this wall. I don't know what it's going to be. And then over here, um, we have red and white Taylor Swift holiday album. Me and my friends. Little elephant from Epcot. Moving up, we have red, wishable, uh, camera, uh, peppermint candle, normal, 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 Noel sign, collage wall, normal, normal, red and white box, mahogany teakwood, little Disney shelf with all the park icons except Tower of Terror, some Bath and Body Works candles, red and white again, Chip and Dale, and Fearless signed. The wonderful garlands and then down here we have the bedding we have the two squishmallows and of course my Christmas pillows then we just have the tree over here and then this is pretty much normal but I have just swapped out for my Christmas things this is where it gets fun so now we're just out in the family room area right now and this is the area I want to make Christmassy um, so just starting over here first obviously there's a lot of fall stuff going on here and then I've already put the snowman there in this empty space, the wedge from our sectional from upstairs, when the tree goes up upstairs, the wedge from the sectional has to go down here, and that's where it fits in there. And then TV is obviously very Halloween right now, and we're going to fix that. I do then also just have this cute little white bin, and this is where I'm going to put all my little Christmas teas that I have. So this one here is Santa's Secret, um, and then I have a couple other stuff. To do Cody's little area, we're gonna need more food. I 
think we are not going to use this for what I thought we were going to. I'm going to put it up there, I think. Also, the leaves here need to come down that I put up for fall. Um, they just need to go away. I don't have anything per se to replace them with right now. Once again, we're really hoping I find all my extra tinsel because I have so much tinsel somewhere. I just don't know where. I also just got a wallflower from Bath & Body Works. This is a Christmas scent, something like under the Christmas tree, I think it was called. Um, and it smells super Christmassy, so I'm going to plug that in as well. <sighs> we're done. Everything's up. Everything is finished. It's all done. Merry Christmas. Um, oh, I'm exhausted. It's been about four and a half hours. All that took. So it is a very long process. Even though this video is only going to be like 10 minutes long, actually filming it is actually quite the lengthy process. Um, and I'm exhausted. So with that, I'm going to close it out. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed decorating with me for Christmas and maybe got some ideas for your own house. Um, but thank you again so much and have a magical rest of your day.